Have you ever worked on a complex web application and found that managing the application state can be challenging? That's where Redux comes in. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on what is Redux by IntelliPad. Redux is a state management library for JavaScript applications that helps simplify the process of managing state in a predictable way. It's become increasingly popular in recent years, especially in conjunction with front-end frameworks like React. Whether you're a seasoned web developer or just starting out, understanding Redux can help you build more robust and maintainable web applications. So stay till the end to find out what Redux is all about. With that, let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First, we'll talk about what is Redux. Then we'll look into why use Redux. Then we're going to talk about when to use Redux. And then we'll look into why is Redux good with React. Then we'll look into what makes Redux predictable. Then we'll talk about the core principles of Redux. And with that, we'll conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by talking about what is Redux. Redux is an open source JavaScript library used for managing application state. It is commonly used in conjunction with React, but can be used with any other JavaScript framework or library as well. Redux provides a centralized store for application data and products a predictable way to manage changes to that data over time. The core idea behind Redux is that the entire state of an application is represented by a single JavaScript object called a store. This store is immutable, which means that it cannot be directly modified. Instead, changes to the store are made by dispatching actions, which are plain JavaScript objects that describe what happened in the application. These actions are processed by reducers, which are pure functions that take the current state and an action and return a new state. Redux also provides a way to subscribe to changes in the store so that components can be updated automatically when the data they depend on changes. This makes it easy to write highly interactive applications with complex data flows. Now we we'll look at why use Redux. So there are several reasons why someone might choose to use Redux. The first is centralized state management. Redux provides a single centralized store for all the state in the application, which makes it easier to reason about how data is flowing through the application and debug issues. Second is predictable state changes. Redux uses a strict set of rules for how state can be updated, which helps ensure that changes to the state are predictable and consistent across the entire application. Third is debugging. Because Redux keeps track of every action that has been dispatched and every change that has been made to the state, it makes debugging easier and more predictable. Fourth is developer experience. Redux encourages the use of pure functions and a strict separation of concerns, which can make it easier to reason about the code and maintain it over time. Additionally, the use of a centralized store can make it easier for multiple developers to work on the same code base without stepping on each other's toes. Finally, scalability. Redux is designed to work well with large-scale applications, allowing for easy management of complex data flows and a clear separation of concerns. Overall, Redux can be a useful tool for managing application state in a way that is structured, predictable, and scalable. However, it may not be necessary for all applications and can add complexity to smaller projects. It is important to evaluate whether Redux is the right choice for a specific project based on its needs and requirements. Now we'll look at when to use Redux. Redux allows you to manage your app state in a single place and keeps changes in your app more predictable and traceable. It makes it easier to reason about changes occurring in your app. But all of these benefits come with trade-offs and constraints. One might feel it adds a boilerplate code, making simple things a little overwhelming but that depends on the architecture decisions. Now we'll look at why is Redux good with React. React is a standalone library that can be used with different JavaScript frameworks like Angular, Inferno, Vue, Preact, React, and many others. However, Redux is most frequently used with React. This is because React was designed with the concept of states and life cycles. And in React, state can also not be modified directly it can only be done via the function state state. This makes it easier for Redux concepts to be applied because they share the same understanding and behavior of a state object. Next, what makes Redux predictable? 
Redux is considered to be predictable because it enforces a strict set of rules for how the state can be updated, which makes it easier to understand how data is flowing through an application and debug issues. Here are some of the key features of Redux that contribute to its predictability. Starting with single source of truth. Redux uses a single centralized store to hold the state of an application. This makes it easier to understand where the data is coming from and how it is changing over time. Second is state is read only. In Redux, state is read only and can only be changed by dispatching actions. This ensures that the state can only be updated in a predictable and controlled way. Third, changes are made through pure functions. Reducers are pure functions that take the current state and an action as an input and return a new state. Because they are pure functions, they are predictable and do not have side effects. Fourth is actions describe what happened. Actions in Redux are plain JavaScript objects that describe what happened in the application. This makes it easy to understand what changes are being made to the state and why. Finally, changes are processed sequentially. In Redux, changes to the state are processed in the order that they are dispatched. This ensures that the state is updated in a predictable and consistent way. By enforcing these rules and principles, Redux ensures that the changes to the state are predictable and consistent across an entire application. This can make it easier to understand how an application is working, debug issues, and maintain code over time. Now we'll look at some of the core principles of Redux. Starting with single source of truth, in Redux, the entire state of an application is represented by a single JavaScript object called the store. So this store is responsible for managing the entire state of the application and it is the only place where the state is stored. By having a single source of truth, it becomes easier to manage the state of an application and make sure that the different parts of the application are always in sync. Second, state is read only. In Redux, the state is read only, which means that it cannot be directly modified by components or other parts of the application. Instead, the only way to change the state is by dispatching an action, which is a plain JavaScript object that describes the change. Once an action is dispatched, it is passed on to reducers, which are responsible for updating the state. By making the state read only and enforcing a strict set of rules for how it can be updated, Redux provides a predictable way to manage application state. Finally, changes are made with pure functions. Reducers are pure functions that take the current state and an action as an input and return a new state as an output. They are responsible for updating the state in response to the actions that have been dispatched. Because reducers are pure functions, they are predictable and have no side effects, which makes it easier to reason about how the state is being updated. By enforcing the use of pure functions, Redux provides a clear and consistent way to manage the application state. In conclusion, Redux is a powerful state management library for JavaScript applications that helps simplify the process of managing complex application state in a predictable way. Its architecture, based on three core principles, provides developers with a set of strict rules for updating and managing application state. While Redux can add complexity to smaller applications, it excels in larger and more complex applications where state management can be a challenge. By understanding the best practices, patterns, and real-world use cases for Redux, developers can build more robust and maintainable web applications. Learning Redux can help take your skills to the next level, so give it a try and see how Redux can help you build better web applications. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati, the course link of which is given in the description below.